Okay, welcome back to VMworld 2013. We're here at theCUBE, this is our flagship program. We extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, joined Dave Vellante, and one of the special things about theCUBE is it's wall to wall. We talk to Pat Gelsman, the CEO of VMware, all the top executives, all the entrepreneurs. We talk to the thought leaders, we talk to the guys building the engine under the hood, and uh, it's always a surprise. What we always love to do is bring people in when there's, when there's action, and, and uh, there's some news to break. We're going to break it. If there's action, we will send people to it, like at and Park last night with NetApp. And our next guest is a special guest uh, who we love, Tarkin Maynard, um, who was the CEO of Y, sold that to Dell, and now has some big news, a CUBE alumni, always a great guest. Tarkin, welcome good back again. Good to see you. Good to see you. Tan, good to see you. smiling, <laughs> fistful of dollars. <laughs> Looking good. Uh, new <laughs> venture. <laughs> welcome to theCUBE. Good to see you guys, good to see you. So first, let's just get into it. You're a man about town right now, you have a new venture. Yeah. Tell, yeah, tell yeah. us the news, let's just get right to the hard news. Sure, sure. Uh, basically, uh, I joined a, a company uh, uh, called Nexenta. Uh, the company has been uh, around actually for a while in this storage, uh, software-defined storage space, software-defined data center space. Uh, um, it, the company uh, started with three co-founders, co uh, uh, basically Evan Powell, Alex Eisman, and Dmitry Yasupov. Um, you know, amazing smart people, great IP, um, and then the company is in the just the heart of all the action. You know, storage has been so boring. You know, it's a boring space. <laughs> it does, it. Who, getting sexy though. Who, who, sexy. who <laughs> likes selling storage? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, it's the most boring space. But I'll tell you, over the past <laughs> two decades, I think that uh, uh, market is changing crazy. Mm -hmm. And the last two, three years, with all this new software, cloud implementations, virtualization, convergence in the back end, it's a great story. I love the company. Uh, to be honest with you, after the, uh, uh, our Dell uh, integration, I had a great time with Dell uh, in the first year. Um, you know, I had a little bit of a, a problem with the, my dad and so on, so uh, uh, health issues. I had to take some time off. I took time off four months. My girlfriend said, you have to leave the house. Uh, uh, I'm done with you. Yeah. Well, so you had a good time. We were, following you, you out. we were following you on <laughs> Facebook, for sure. We watched <laughs> the photos, were fantastic. Great places yeah. you visited, you're so good tan, but so I had, I had she kicked you out, <laughs> get, get the job, I come had, on. I had to find something very exciting. <laughs> yeah, and I'll yeah. tell you, uh, I was not planning to come back actually this quick, but uh, um, this deal came in, and I love the investors, Menlo, Sierra, uh, Javelin, uh, uh, Translink Capital, some great investors. As I uh, mentioned to you earlier, offline, uh, VMware is a great partner, Cisco is a great partner, Dell is a great partner. Uh, uh, so um, I think uh, well, there's a huge opportunity. Plus VMware's giving you all this free marketing this week. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah, we love that. <laughs> we love that. Back, yeah, so. We love Pat and Carla Schimbach and the entire uh, company, the new uh, uh, organizational structure with Sanjay Poonan yeah. coming in from Sanjay's the Sanjay's coming Mobile. on theCUBE Great guy. Today. It's going to be fun. It's going to oh, yeah. be fun. Yeah. Good. So, t okay. So tell us a little bit more about the, the opportunity, the the, the company, sure. you know, the so market look, space. So look, you know, we talked about this many, many times before, obviously, as you know, you know, with social workloads, mobility, uh, virtualization, obviously a big, big deal, you know this better than I do. And on the top of that now, you have uh, uh, the entire contextual intelligence, big data workloads uh, going crazy. And on the top of that now, uh, the convergence in the front end, and that's what my, my life in the last eight years with Wise, Dell, uh, convergence in the end user environments with voice, data, video, all integrated into one kind of a platform, and Dell is doing a phenomenal job in that. Um, but now, in the back end, you have to have the right infrastructure at the right cost level to support that kind of a workload with virtualization, with VDI, with convergence, with social media, with big data. So I do not believe, based on things that uh, I'm seeing and all the customer talks I had over the past few years, especially in the last month or so, when I was doing my due diligence with Nexenta and with their customers and some of the prospects, and even here at VMworld, Customers are complaining that the infrastructure and data center is too expensive, too too slow, too fat. Uh, it's not agile too enough. Too complicated. All, yeah. Too complicated. So uh, uh, everybody's looking at this software-defined data center space. I believe in it. With networking, obviously on the compute side, VMware did a great job in the last ten years with Diane and then you know Paul Moritz and now obviously with Pat and team. But on the storage and networking side, there is still tons of opportunity. On the networking side, companies like Big Switch, Nisira, what VMware did with this year and all those companies I'm watching, I love those companies, but on the networking side, things are still not defined. Mm. There's still software defined networking, is still not defined. So there's still <laughs> some work to be done in that space. But in storage, work. the game is now. 
the data is now. Voice data, video, big data, all that workloads require more agile, more flexible storage, and I don't yeah. think it's going to happen with the legacy, old school, boring storage. Has to be software defined, what's virtualized. The, so what's the new school? First of all, we said in 2010 storage yeah. is sexy, because we saw it becoming the center of the, of the conversation because of all what you just talked about. It's here, it's happening right sure. now. So, so what is the new school of, uh, of disruption? Sure, so he, he look, at the end of the day, um, I respect all those big companies done phenomenal job in storage from NetApp, EMC, Hitachi Data Systems, uh, even some of the other storage niche players over the past. You know, you, you've been in there, uh, we've been around the corner. We remember all those, you know, old companies doing a lot of storage, some microsystem bad companies in, mm -hmm. in that space. Having said all that, those old infrastructures, I don't believe, uh, um, are, 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 are beneficial to a lot of uh, the Fortune 500 types and also mid-sized companies for them to deliver better value to their end users on those new workloads. So the storage has to be much easier deployed, has to be much secure as everything else going to the cloud, whether that's a public cloud and private cloud. And let's be uh, honest about it. Amazon is a reality. They just bought, the, you know, got that deal with CIA. It's not only small, medium businesses, you and me on my, uh, you know, mobile app, putting on Amazon. Sure, now yeah. large companies are going there, and they, what is the reason? Simplicity, cost. NASDAQ, yeah. Shell Oil, exactly. I mean, the list goes on but, and but, on and but on. But the problem is, I believe, still with Fortune 5000 companies, People are asking, you know, can I really put all my stuff on a public cloud, all critical stuff? Yes, some of it, yes, but some of it is still up in there. So what I believe is, I truly believe it is on my heart, and that's why I'm in this uh, game, and I put my own money into Next Center, and with my investors, we believe in that a lot of CIOs are going to look for an Amazon type of a delivery model internally, as their data center becomes their own homegrown Amazon, and that can only happen with companies like Nexenta, so with software-defined data centers. Let's talk about the news, the, yeah. new, the new gig. So talk about, talk about um, when you joined, uh, what you're going to be doing, key goals, sure. and um, is it a pivot, is it an extension, they have some history, operating history? So look, I'll tell you, great, great question. You, 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 are, you guys are all asking the right questions. The company started a while ago, a great founders, phenomenal team. By the way, I would never do a deal with a company with the wrong team. The team is phenomenal. Uh, obviously, uh, I have some team members I worked with in the past and so forth, they're you know, helping out and looking at this. I have great partners like Carl at uh, VMware, Dell, Michael Dell and the team, Jeff Clark, a lot of key people, Marius, uh, uh, Sam Grimblad, they are also looking at this because it, this is a big partner to Dell. Uh, it changes the game for uh, uh, Dell customers also with Nexenta. And, and also, on the top of that, great IP. Um, they use an, a, a very capable, very secure, this is a very key thing, uh, uh, basically a file system based on the file system, the company is written some amazing packages, software packages, and they're taking you know, advantage of the open source by building this proprietary but open IP to deliver software-defined storage at a cost level I don't believe any company can touch. And IP coming with the right cost structure, with the right total addressable market. Look, software-defined data center market is six billion dollars already. Six billion dollars today already, that market. Okay, Only so that's not the TAM, that's what the, the that, revenue is that's today. That's the revenue. Uh, okay. It's so small. Online storage market today, uh, some data points I saw uh, from IDC and a few others, is 200 billion dollar plus uh, by 2016. This market is going to go crazy. There's so much storage need, but not only in size, but efficiency. And the other piece, security. So to your uh, uh, you know, question, it's not a pivot cell. you want to continue what the team did. You I think the team turbocharge turbocharge it. I think the team has done a great job. We want to make sure we talk to two more customers, more partnerships. So scale it up. Scale it up. But at the same time, from software-defined storage space, we're also going to start looking at software-defined data center space as a whole with security. Security in this space is going to be a big deal. So, talk, so we're going to focus on that as so well, as talk, a company. You talked about the Amazon-like experience in the data center, so what does that look like? Is that what kind of is that a solution? Is it a piece of software that I buy? Is it an appliance? I, thi I, I think, you know, when you look at the world, you have, you have this you know, VMware EMC world, we have this Cisco kind of a world, and we have this open systems world with OpenStack, with Dell leading in that front, and you have this Amazon world, right, as, as, as a service. So what I see is companies 
companies are looking at the hybrid uh, solutions and they have all that infrastructure installed over the past two, three, four decades, they have to make sense out of it. You know, my goal is not to go to customer like we did advice and Dell, hey, replace everything with my new stuff. That's not the goal. What we want to do is, and what we're hearing from the customers, use what we have and let us not spend too much money on new gear. Bring some advanced, secure, available, manageable, reliable, and low, low total cost of ownership software, which can plug in to the things that we do, so we can get more out of our infrastructure today. And as we move forward, our goal is to move into a new era in which we can deliver Amazon type of a service in-house without needing to go to Amazon to an outside party because we have liability issues, we have uh, privacy issues, we have security issues still. So what I'm seeing is in high levels, in simple terms, a good marriage, a good fusion of private and public cloud based on software IP, software de defined data center IP, which creates a convergence in the back end to enable convergence in the front end. Okay, with all those services that you would expect from that, but. My, my, so I know it's software, I mean you guys yeah, are a software course, company, yeah. but is it ultimately delivered in a box, in an appliance, or are you dogmatic about that? Absolutely, you, you, yeah. no, no, look, yeah. at, at the end of the day, today, the company is a yeah. pure software company, yeah. no hardware connection, there is no appliance built into this, but easily can yeah. build it. To so you don't rule that out? I don't rule that out. I mean, to, today, at the, at the end of the day, one of the unique things about this company is, this company has tons of options. Nexenta has so many options that most companies don't have. They have the IP which can be delivered separately, as a, a standalone software which has been done with many amazing customers from large banks to large cloud service companies. Uh, uh, one of our investors is, is Korean Telecom. They're doing tons of work with us. So there are telcos, there are banks, there are, uh, there are uh, uh, federal uh, institutions. Having said all this, some of our customers, as I made the announcement already this morning, after our, your tweet as well, thank you for tweeting, um, I'm getting tweets from some of the ODMs in, in China. Hey, we would love to talk to you. Uh, actually, tonight at 5 p.m. I'm doing a, a big party at uh, St. Regis Hotel on your Yerbe uh, Terrace. Uh, we're going to have a few ODMs from Taiwan to come in and talk about software defined data center in, in, in relation, in lieu of our partnerships with VMware, Dell, Who's going to be at that party? Who's going to be at that party? So look, at the party is, uh, I, I don't want to give you all the names, it's a, a <laughs> private party where you guys are invited obviously on the fourth floor. Uh, we're going to have uh, top executives from VMware, a lot of executives coming from Dell. Uh, we have a few people from Microsoft and about, about 50 startup CEOs and tons of investors. So if you're looking for money for your next deal, please come on, I'm not going to charge you a commission. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, we, yeah, we are looking for some finance right. for crowd spots, but we'll, we'll talk about that Absolutely. later. I'm right. excited for you, Tarkin. We love having your energy in theCUBE, and, and obviously the Dell relationship, it sounds like it's a big part of this deal. So, Absolutely. So explain, yeah. these guys have a relationship with Dell? Absolutely. And others, other vendors, or is it just Dell? No, very open, very uh, honest about this. Uh, 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 Nextender did a great job uh, uh, from a business development perspective, because also the product is so, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, open to partnerships. Actually, the BD teams in Nextenda has a phenomenal portfolio to do a lot of BD and OEM work. Right. So there are tons of partnerships overseas as well, but without getting too much in detail, uh, Dell partnerships are very critical, obviously, for us. Uh, 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 there's a partnership with Cisco, there's a lot of work going on with Cisco, there's tons of going on, work, uh, going on with uh, VMware, but obviously, I'm, I'm not ruling out. Uh, I'm talking to my friends at Citrix, we've done a lot of work with them. Uh, um, hopefully, we're going to do something with them, because I think there's a nice tie-in with Citrix as well on the uh, VDI front, uh, because of the VDI workloads are a huge deal for storage, as you know. One of the biggest inhibitors, one of the biggest pain in my arm was, when I was doing the Wise deal uh, 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 over the past eight years, was the storage cost. Because all these old school, boring storage vendors, you know who they are, <laughs> they come in and charge all that money. Because you kind of mentioned them earlier, yeah, EMC, NetApp. You know, they would kill the TCO. Look, they yeah. have this big headquarters, big suit, executives with big salaries, they have to pay for that kind of a, a margin. <laughs> So they're doing 50, 60% margin on product, on proprietor boxes, we want to change that game. Customers deserve better, lower cost, better IP, and that's our goal. And that's the reason I love this country. Oh. It opens up opportunities yeah. for us, through you, to tell our story well, to our customers. Well, timing is good, because Nexenta needs somebody with a voice, and you have a voice, obviously. Of course, all the big guys, many of the big guys, are talking the software-defined game. Sounds like you've been delivering for a couple of years now, so get real Absolutely, IP. and, and, and yeah. it, look, this is not a typical startup. Some startups, you know, you bootstrap it, there was no revenue, this company has revenue, yeah. growing fast. What's the headcount? So today we have about 200 people. Oh, okay. uh, and, 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 and it's not a startup, that, it's yeah. not a startup, it's, it's a company. It's a company. Yeah. Having said all that, but it's 
primarily an R&D company, a research shop. You're doing phenomenal products. Um, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. This is to my own detriment. I was talking to founders, one of our founders, Alex Eisman, he's a phenomenal Russian guy. I'm talking, he has research projects all over the place. There are some of the research we've been working on. I'm, t I'm telling you, this stuff is real. You can start maybe three more companies out of this uh -huh. company's IP. Uh -huh. So uh, that's why I'm very excited about it. And I want to put my entire energy to this with the team, and the team is a really good team. So really are, you, good are team. you chairman and CEO? Yeah. I'm the chairman of the CEO uh, and the CEO of the company. Uh, we have a phenomenal board, uh, as I mentioned, with Menlo, Sierra, uh, Javelin, uh, uh, Noah Doyle from Javelin. We have Toshi from uh, Translink, uh, Praveen Vazrani from uh, Menlo, great team. Tim Guleri, Tim is, by the way, the PhD in storage. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, he's going to deny that publicly, mm -hmm. but uh, um, he knows the space well, and I trusted these guys. They've done a, a long-term uh, due diligence on this company. I'll tell you, I've been looking at this company for a few months. And I like what I'm seeing, and I'll tell you, our partners, Dell, Cisco, VMware, all of those guys are really excited about that too. Awesome. Tarkin Maynard, Chairman and CEO of Nexenta, congratulations, great to see you back on, in the game, back on the track, back from your, your personal break. Great success with Wise, and obviously the market's changing. Look at Michael Dell, he's going to take the company private, he's going to be aggressive, awesome. Awesome. and he's going to get his company back, he's going to be a big owner of it, and that's going to be fun to watch, and, and certainly entertaining, and, and as they retool the product. But yeah, storage is, is a good fit for you guys, start market fits great, congratulations. We'll see you tonight at your party, if we can swing by, if we're still awake and alive. <laughs> Dave and I are day three. Tarkin Maynard here, the new chairman and CEO, breaking news here inside theCUBE. Uh, we'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. Thank you, brother.